Hi, <coughs> and welcome to part three. In part three, what we're going to be doing is we've got our tube with the thingy in the end, and we're going to be putting on the bit that the pellets fall into uh, and guide the pellets into this tube. Um, now, as you might have guessed by now, I'm actually building two pellet smokers. Uh, one is going to be my combination one, and one is my gas conversion. Um, now, as you're building it yourself, it gives you a lot more opportunities to actually do something a little bit more interesting than the general old-fashioned, you know, big tall thing here, and that's it. So let's take this little barbecue for an example. Now, uh, in here, we've got the grate at that level, and uh, we're going to have my pellet smoker about there, and uh, we're going to, so, pellet smoker, top grill, sorry, uh, heat diffusal plate, uh, then the olive plate for all the fats and what have you about there. So the distance between there and there, middle point is about here. So in here, I'm going to be having a rod going the full length so I can put a suckling pig or a lamb tied on to a rotisserie. Now if I've got a rotisserie here, that means something's going to stick out probably by the length of that. And also we've got the rotisserie motor like that and we've got the square tube here so what I need to do is we've got the feed here so I'm going to be coming off at an angle like that with a flat top and then the hopper up here so that's our project for today is to produce this piece here that fits onto this round tube which has the auger in it. So we've got a rough idea there of what's going to go on and now we're going to go to the plate and do a rough replication. Okay so here I have my sheet of metal and I'm not using stainless with this uh, because it's so much easier to play about with this type of steel. So the first thing I've got to do is go down to the, do just a rough idea of on there. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to draw a circle. So the tube is roughly halfway on there, like that. and. We draw, get it nice and flattish, and draw our circle. So that's nicely fitting around that tube. So that gives us the baseline. So next thing we do is we've got to get a straight, straight edge. Okay, now we need some meat around this semicircle because we're going to be obviously welding. So basically, and we're going to be putting, these are going to be the sides, and then we're going to be putting plates in between. You'll see when it comes together. So I'm actually going to cut this reasonably large. Uh, just get a nice amount of meat round the whole thing. So that's a rough idea and a rough idea like that. Okay, so always just do a squiggle through the lines you're not going to be using so you don't get confused. And what we're going to do now is cut this out. Okay, I think that looks roughly about right. Um, one thing 
I have done here is I haven't I should have this made this circle a bit higher so I can get the centre of the drill in here. But that doesn't matter too much at the moment, I can adjust that in a minute. So at this stage we make our second one. Okay, so we've got our two pieces of metal which are going to be going onto our tube. I'll show you. Tube. So the metal is going to be going like that with a flat top there. So I'm going to say right get the pen and we'll use the end without the screws in it because that makes it easier so we're going to have that like that so we're going to draw So that's going to be our circle. Right, okay, so what I've done here is I've put the two pieces of metal together and just to make it a little bit easier to work on and to get it right, I'm just going to put a couple of tacks, tack welds, doesn't matter what weld you use, just put a few tacks here and there in places you know you're going to grind off, for example the bottom of where uh, you're going to have the thing. Why haven't I got any gas coming out? I have. Okay, now I've done a few tack welds. I'll put this, oh, turn the gas off. Right, so now I can undo this clamp. And these plates are being held together nicely. Well, when I say nicely, they're just being held together. So, right, so we know we need a hole here. So, you have a few alternatives. One, you can get a hole saw, which is smaller or the correct size, and drill into here. Or you can cut this in half and put lines up with your angle grinder or a die grinder and just make this circle. But if you do it that way, just make sure you keep pushing it onto the tube to make sure it's perfect. So, I'm going to be measuring out and deciding what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this. I've decided to go for a uh, core thingy here, which is slightly bigger than I need, which will mean extra work afterwards, maybe filling a slight gap. But I can live with that. So I'm going to be drilling this precisely, and I can get it reasonably, as long as I get this hole reasonably close to the edge, and the thing roughly in the middle, uh, I'll be okay. And this is, of course is mild steel so it's going to be a piece of piss. Hi. Okay, so we've got our two side pieces and what we're going to be doing now is we, we know the pipe's going to be going in the middle here and we know we're going to separate these two pieces of metal right into a feed tube that's going to sit onto here. So we've got to decide where this is going to touch these, these sheets going on the side. So I'm going to decide there, 
and there. Right, so then we draw a line going from there to the corners. Okay, so bearing in mind, we've got two pieces of the steel and we're going to have this level with a flange sticking out with the big hopper sitting on top. Now there's two pieces, so these are going to be separated here and that is going to, the edge of this is going to be roughly where the edge of our bushing is on the inside. So I'm going to unsolder, well unweld all this and then we're going to start talking about putting in uh, the other two plates that go in there. So what I'm doing here, very briefly, is I've got my 40 grit flat flap wheel and I'm just grinding down the sides to make it all the same size on this and also that'll be taking a lot of the weld off. Hi, right, well, I was going for all types of special angles and dangles of uh, what have you and it just turned out to be a complete and utter nightmare so basically uh, just stick to what's known and proven and that is we cut out the end plates earlier and we just cut three and a half inches there and three and a half inches there straight plates tack them in and uh, slid them on and it's working absolutely fine so uh, okay it might have a little bit of a twist but okay that's got the twist out so what we do now is we say right we want a little bit of gap so we can undo our screws and also we've got to think about the thickness of the bearing before we cut in so we've got the bearing there and this is the material I cut the bearing out of so yep that's about there so yep okay so that would be precisely perfect just there so what we do is we mark take this upright do a mark on the sides there mark inside everywhere and that's the hole we're going to be cutting out so when I take this off you'll see what I mean um, yeah it looks lovely I'll mark this outside as well just so we've got extra reference always nice to have a little bit of extra reference here and there gives you a better idea so we take this and we slide it off the end and there we go we've got our hole we're going to be cutting and we've got our hopper which uh, I'll be showing you how to finish the rest of that off in a minute so I'm not going to video me cutting this out because there's no point trying to teach you how to suck eggs okay thank you